this is Portal, one of the five games that are contained in the orange box coming out on three platforms, the PS3, X360, and the PC. You're actually watching Portal on the PS3 right now. So this is actually a puzzle action game that uses a very innovative weapon called the Portal Gun. And as you can see, essentially you are able to create two holes of Portal where you go through one and you can come out the other. So through the series of puzzles, essentially when you go on to the levels, it tells you where to look. There are dotted lines, there are check marks and X's that lead you to what you should be doing and what your objective is. So here you can see that there is an exit ahead of you, but the steps be, like before you is actually too high for you to jump. You can only jump about a foot, so you have to figure out a way how to use your portals to actually get on that higher ledge. So you see that there's one portal open, you can open the second one by getting through that and jumping through the second portal which was placed higher you were able to jump high enough to actually get on that ledge and then you progress to the next level so these are the little icons that actually tell you what the hints are and again here you see that there's one portal placed higher an extremely large gap that you can't possibly jump over but the little hints told you that what you should do is open another portal below you let that gravity suck you in, use it as momentum to jump over the large gap, which is what Drew has done here right now. So as you can see, these are like building blocks. You learn one skill, you learn another, you keep on using them in combination to ultimately solve more complex puzzles. So here, you cannot put a portal on any of the shiny surfaces. And again, you see that there's a portal placed below you. And there's a larger wall behind you where you can put in another portal. So it's a repeat of the previous exercise, but the portal was placed below you and you have to place another portal high above you. And you can see that the puzzles are getting more complex and so you can't just solve one puzzle and move on. You actually need to move through two series of puzzles where you have to jump over two high ledges and get to the exit. And now that you've learned those skills, you finally have access to the second portal gun. So now you're able to put two portals in to wherever you would like to. So here, Drew has put one and two on the same surface. So you keep on jumping through one, dropping through the other. He can actually keep on doing this forever, but that'll make us dizzy. So now he's going up the stairs to figure out what puzzle he needs to solve. So the same thing is happening here. You obviously need to get to a higher level. So he puts a portal below him to jump over that higher ledge. And there's another, which you have to repeat what you just did to get to the second higher level. And now there's a button, and a button that leads to an exit. And there's a block that just dropped. So you can see that by standing on the button, pressing the button opens the door, but once you get off that button, it closes. So you have to figure out a way to get that block onto that button. So he uses the same learning that you had in the earlier levels to jump over to that higher level to retrieve the block. And here you are. This portal gun also works as a gravity gun, and so you are able to pick up that block with your portal gun and move it to that next level. So he moves that block over to the button which now leaves the door open. So now all you have to do is to get on that higher ledge and exit through the door. And now the portal narrative is very excited, as you can see. And Drew now will show you a little bit of uh, some of the fun things you can do. This is the infinite loop. You keep on walking after yourself and you will never reach and you can keep on doing this forever and get yourself very, very dizzy. You can also do the same and do an infinite fall. This is the infinite fall. You can keep on falling forever. So it truly is a new way of looking at physics and your environment. For the first time, you're able to manipulate the environment that you're in the same way that the gravity gun changed the way you looked at objects in-game and how to manipulate them within your environment. And that's one of the exciting games in the orange box.
Let's <laughs> go.